everyone. So I have had the world's most stressful morning. Um, I was going to film this video and I'd started because I had the plumber coming around to fix a leak that was coming out of the ceiling and then he was supposed to call and say when he was coming and he didn't, he just turned up as I was filming so that was a bit awkward but he has gone now, it is fixed and I'm not going to say I'm not stressed anymore because I am, I'm having a really hard time at the moment, everything's going wrong but um yeah hopefully I will make myself feel better by talking to you about lipstick and eyeshadow and I'm here today to talk to you about some new releases for spring summer to be honest these are more kind of summery products to me personally I think they scream summer a bit more but they are also ones you could use for kind of spring and it's been so warm and nice lately although I've heard today's the last day of it so hopefully we can still get some use out of these. But the first one I'm going to talk to you about is from Clarins. I've got quite a few things here from Clarins and they are fast becoming one of my favourite ever makeup brands. I just love everything that they do. I kind of don't ever use anything from them and I don't like it. And I've got this beautiful, beautiful thing here and I used this yesterday and I'm in love with it. And it's their After Sun Shimmer Oil. Now obviously this is a very much kind of a holiday type of product. It says it nourishes, illuminates and enhances a tan and I mean Look how beautiful it is. It's just gorgeous. You give it a good shake. It's got a little bit of a pigment in it, so it can, um, it makes your hands kind of go an orangey colour. But to put this on your arms and your legs, I was wearing a skirt yesterday and I put this on my legs and it was so pretty. It's got kind of really delicate shimmer in it. It smells amazing as well. It's got like a really kind of just a holiday type of smell to it, but luxurious. The packaging, I think, is stunning. I want this out on display somewhere in my house. I think it's that pretty. And on arms and legs when you're wearing anything beautiful. It doesn't come off on clothes either. And it's kind of a dry wool, so it's nice and moisturising as well. Then, um, from Clarins as well, I have got this bronzer. Now, they bring out these bronzers every year, different variations of them. And they're the um, Summer Bronzer Compact, and it's from the Aquatic Treasures collection. And packaging, again, stunning, because it's Clarins. And I am wearing this today, in fact. It's just so beautiful. I mean, the shades in here are really, really pretty and easy to work with. You can kind of make it as bronzy or as... Um, kind of muted as you like. I'm wearing it kind of all over my face today and I just think it's so pretty and lovely and a really great kind of luxury buy. If you want to buy yourself something really special for summer, this is a nice summery product. And then from um, Clarins, I'll do, I'll do them by brand. I'll do Clarins first and then I'll move on to the other brands. I've got these and these are the Instant Light Radiance Boosting Complexion Bases. And I've got this one in shade 4 and this one in shade 5. Now I haven't used shade 5 yet because I thought I'd need to be a little bit more tanned to use this because it's more of like a bronzing base. This one I've used every day since I've got it and I've had it for a couple of weeks and really, really lovely. It just evens everything out. If you're having kind of like a no makeup day and you've got really good skin, this would work really, really well. I'm wearing it under my foundation today. I'm wearing it under the L'Oreal um, Infallible Matte, but works beautifully, really illuminating, just makes everything look really alive. Similar to Le Beige from Chanel, in fact. Really, really pretty. And then, what else do I have? I have these beautiful, beautiful eyeshadows. And this is something I think a lot of you are going to be really, really interested in. And it's their um, Ombre Irresist Irres Irresistible? No, Iridescent, sorry. Hair, I can't read. Um, and <laughs> basically from the same collection as the um, Ombre Mattes. But these are the shimmery versions. The lids match the shades inside. So this is the kind of rose gold one. It's just gorgeous but the colour inside it's max all it glitters but a tiny bit more rose gold I've been wearing this loads I haven't actually got it on today because I wanted to use something else to show you but I'll swatch it here for you just use it with your hands beautiful shimmery gorgeousness just a beautiful beautiful summer colour you know wash all over the lids a little bit of liner and you're good to go really really beautiful and I've also got the grey one in here which is a slightly more unusual tone but I just want to show you the packaging of this again because it's beautiful and if you are someone that likes to wear colour this is in um, what's this shade called it's just 03 they don't have names but the, again the lid matches it and it's just this beautiful shade right here I love these they're just really really good and I love the matte ones I get a lot of wear out of my matte ones so really excited for that 
And then that's it from Clarins. But I have got something here from um, Eyes of Hours. I'm not sure where you can get this. I'm going to have to look it up for you. But this is the brow pencil that I've been using a lot recently. And this is in, um, it's the Dynasty Brow Define in medium brown. It's just a little pencil like that. It's nice and ashy, but not too ashy. Comes with a little spoolie on the end, which is really good. And just a really great eye pencil, eyebrow pencil. And I'm not a fan of eyebrow pencils. So if you want to try one and you don't usually like them, they're too soft, too warm, just not what you like, this is really, really nice. And um, definitely something that's kind of been in my everyday makeup routine. Then from Clinique, I have got these lipsticks. Now these are really 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 unusual and they're the ColourPop lipsticks first of all the packaging you know like we have to talk about packaging right is gorgeous they're just so pretty and aesthetically pleasing i'm wearing this one today which is poppy pop and i like how they do these like when they did the cheek pops the peach pop berry pop i just think it's quite a fun way of doing it and they look like this they're a really nice um applicator because this is a really bright colour and I didn't use a lip liner well I used like a nude lip liner like I do every day but I didn't have to use like a coloured lip liner or a lip brush with this just popped it on kind of all over really pretty they're not the most pigmented they're kind of a little bit almost sheer which is really nice in fact let me put some on to show you even though I've already got some I'll just show you kind of how they apply because they're really unusual they're kind of um almost like a gel texture I would say And you can really kind of draw in the shape with a nib. And I just think it's such a lovely colour, this one. And then I, last week, I wore this one all the time as well, which is um, Sweet Pop, which is a nice kind of bright pink. This is a very nice springtime colour, I think. Looks like that. And then I've also got Fab Pop here, which is a more kind of muted, cooler toned pink. If you're a little bit fairer skinned, that would look lovely. And then from Revlon, I have got this. And this is actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today. And I really like this. It's the Desert Bronze um, Bronzer. So it's basically a bronzer and highlighting palette. But I've used it on my eyes because I just think the shades are really nice for eyes. And it looks like this. So you've kind of got your shimmery white, then a medium brown, and a dark brown. Quite warm, so pretty on the eyes when you've got a bit of a tan. I always like to have a more warm eye when it's um, summertime. And... I have got this all over the lid, this in the crease, and then a little bit of that kind of on the inner part of my eye. Really nice, really pretty, lovely texture, really kind of smooth, just really pretty to kind of um, wear if when you want just a kind of easy go-to look. I like more of a bright lip and more understated eye during the summer, and this works really nicely for that, so I've been enjoying that a lot. I've worn that pretty much every day since I've got it as well. And then I have got these, which are the HD lipsticks from Revlon. And I Instagrammed a picture of these, and a lot of you were really excited and wanted to know when they were coming out. I think they might be out already now. If not, they're just about to come out in the UK. They've been around in the US for a while. And I've got three shades here. I have got um, Rose, Passiony, Poison Easter, or Poison... Poisintia? Is that the name of a flower, probably? And Poppy. I haven't used um, the one with the funny name yet, but Rose I wore last week and I loved this. Um, the texture of them is really unusual as well. They're kind of very creamy. They smell nice as well. It's not a smell that everybody would like. To me, they smell like um, kind of seared marshmallow. Not a scent that everybody will like, I know that, I accept that not everybody's going to like the scent of these, but I think they smell really, really nice and just really creamy and lovely. I'll swatch rose for you here. Just kind of a really pretty rose colour, but they feel lovely on the lips. The only thing is the packaging's a bit annoying because they don't go down like that and they're slanted, which means they're a nice shape to apply. But when you put them on, like put them back in the lid, you can kind of grab it with the um, scraper on it. But then the poppy one, Again, I wore this last week as well, and um, I was visiting someone in the hospital, and the nurse said that she really liked my lipstick, because it looked really kind of, it's a nice sort of poppy colour, but it's not, um, 
it's quite a sheer nice way of wearing red if you're not someone that likes to wear red very often it's a very pretty way of doing it love the packaging of these again i like the scent of them i think these are a really really good thing um and i also find that with revlon rarely do they launch a lip product that isn't fantastic i love pretty much all Revlon lip products. You know how obsessed I am with the matte balms. I really, really give it to Revlon when it comes to lip products. They do it really, really, really well. So that's everything. Those are my kind of new in for spring slash summer this year. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're having a great day and are not a little bit stressed and running around in your head. But I will see you in my next video. I'm going to film another video now while I'm here and I will see you next time.